Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft, and today I'm going to talk to you about the big update to the Network Plus exam. CompTIA just changed the Network Plus exam from the 008 version to the 009 version. And on the surface, it doesn't look like a whole lot has changed, but the underlying structure of the test and the concepts that are presented by CompTIA has been pretty significant. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to go through a couple of different articles, one of which is an article I wrote on the update. So this is, you can find this on cybercrafttraining.com and you find that in the link uh, below. But basically CompTIA changes their exams every three years, they update them. This is the latest update from 008 to 009. And what they've done with this one is that they've changed this to, uh, to a new version with brand new concepts and new techniques for networking. So. If you look at the domain break, uh, breakdown, the difference in the percentages from each domain, you know, network fundamentals changed by 1%, network implementation changed by 1%, network operations changed by 3%, and security changed by about 5%. So there used to be a much larger focus in security, for example, than there is now in the new Network Plus version. New Network Plus version is really more focused on that networking piece. So let's take a look at uh, CompTIA's networking um, or the Network Plus exam objectives here. So this is the usually the guiding document that tells you what concepts are being taught in the exam. And we can see the breakdown here. Network security used to be a bigger focus, almost used to be a subset. And it's still the same concepts taught in Security Plus you'll find in Network Plus just not as big of a, a portion of those in Network Plus 009 than there were in 008. So we see more focus on that networking operations. And that's with Shift trying to uh, help networking students work in an, an environment like a SOC uh, operations center or a network operations center, a NOC. So that focus really does align with how networking is done in the modern world. Uh, usually networking activities are coordinated in some sort of operation center. So I think that's a good change overall. Also, one thing I like with the new version, they focus more on the introductory topics first. So they start with the OSI model and then they relate everything to how it, how it goes back to the, the OSI model and how it works within the different networking layers. So we introduce that first instead of introducing that later with the 008 version. And then it starts right into explaining different, different appliances, different basic applications that you would use with networking. Now the way this is structured is a little different than the CompTIA learning material, which I'll show you in a moment. The CompTIA learning material does a really nice job now of integrating the labs and the lessons together to explain the networking concepts. So let's go through the rest of these exam objectives and I'll explain that to you. In the first section, the first domain, you also get introduced to the ports and the ports and protocols that you need to know are slightly different than the last version of Network Plus. You have new protocols like SQL server uh, or new port numbers, SQL servers, uh, remote desktop protocol, which you should know before, SIP, that's a newer protocol introduced for Zeros are nice and not a newer protocol, but it's one that is being listed on the objectives and some of the older protocols have been taken out here. So we have SMTP and SMTPS, syslog, that's a little newer for 009 rather than 008. And then you still see your standard FTP, uh, SSH, Telnet, things like that. So those are still holdovers from 008. We also have different types of protocols here. Some of these are newer. And one nice thing that Network Plus always does is update itself to different Wi-Fi versions, different network speeds, cables. Every version introduced is new technologies, you know, new type fiber optic technologies that wouldn't have been on the old version because these technologies just weren't available. So it does a great job of adapting to technology as it evolves, especially when it comes to networking and networking technology evolves rapidly, uh, new advances are made in throughput and network speed, so Network Plus does a really nice job of 
going through that. Okay, so we, we have these different types, a lot of introductory concepts, which I think is very good. We go to network implementation, which basically explains how to set up Wi-Fi networks, how to do uh, different network diagrams that were different network arrangements, like a, uh, a hub network or a star network, how to set up virtual LANs. Uh, a lot of times, many networks are hosted in the cloud, so that's very important. And then network operations is where the networking concepts are much more expanded in 009. We, of course, we have hardware and asset inventory, but we also have a, a big focus on monitoring technologies, which are used a lot of times at larger enterprises. So good explanation of how to do logging. We have disaster recovery, a little bit of incident response, more focus on IPv6. Of course, IPv6 networks are used more prevalently now than they have been ever before. And VPN, so that, that's really the focus there on network operations and network security has been pared down a little bit. We do talk about network segmentation for SCADA devices, Internet of Things devices, which is a little newer. Uh, we talk about different mobile device deployments, bring your own device deployments, etc. cetera. Uh, corporate owned, personally enabled, all those network deployments for mobile devices. And we have different basic security concepts. Basically, if you've taken Security Plus, you're studying Security Plus, this Opera, this uh, section is going to be very easy for you. If you haven't, there's not, the concepts are very limited, just the basics on firewalls, access control lists, some basic security appliances that you need to know for Network Plus. Network Plus and Security Plus really work hand in hand. Understanding Network Plus really helps you when it takes, when it comes time to do your Security Plus. If you take a Security Plus first, then you really understand basically all of the main four, and it's very easy for you. Then we go through troubleshooting. And we have CompTIA's network troubleshooting methodology that they they want you to know and you should memorize that for the test, hint, hint. You'll definitely get questions on that on your exam. Uh, you also have different cable troubleshooting methodologies which have always been a staple in this uh, domain. Switching issues, wireless issues, basic troubleshooting for networks. And of course you have your acronym list here. If you're not using this to study acronyms for your exam, make sure to use that for any CompT exam, look at the exam objectives and study your acronym list. Now, so basically, those are the major updates I've explained, and you can read the article for more. Uh, we have, I, I break down the changes to each of the domains here, and I talk about how these work, how the changes work, and what you expect to find in the exam. The exam is still 90 minutes long, you still need to score an, a 720 at a 900. So the exam structure itself hasn't changed. It's just the update to the exam content itself. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at the learning platform though. This is significantly different for Network Plus. CompTIA used to use the CompTIA CertMaster Learn and Labs environment. And what they've done now is they've taken ownership of their own hosting. So they now host their own learning platform. They used to contract this out uh, to Skillable to host their network environment, host their virtual instances, their virtual machines. Now they do it all in-house and they've really improved their load times and the way in which the content is integrated into the lessons. So as we go through here, you have your lessons, lots of graphics in these lessons. There's little quizzes here built in we can go access these quizzes, uh, take those assessments, and then go right back into the, the learning material. And once you've done that, you have a, these lessons are great because they have a mix of performance-based questions and PBQ. So we have basically, this is kind of like a PBQ type question, which network te technology uses a central device for messages to a destination device. So we could pick that. And this is going to be more of an interactive type of question than the standard multiple choice. Of course, the, the actual exam is going to have a mix of multiple choice and PBQs. So we can, you know, let's close out that learning uh, assessment. But once we're done with that, we can go, we take, have a little review. And then we have a lab right here built in. So we can go ahead and start our lab. It's going to be hosted by CompTIA and it loads up very quickly. So it's already loaded. 
And here we have at the bottom different devices. And in this one, it's a basic lab. We're asked to create essentially a network design. So we're gonna move these five computers in here. We're gonna move a switch. And then we're gonna go ahead and have a router. And then we're gonna create a little network here. So this is very helpful, I think. Gives you a good understanding of how to do like a network diagram, how to set up a virtual switch. And the nice thing is we can start each of these devices as well if we want, which is really good. So if we wanna start this, we can. We can add notes here, we can play around. And this is a very basic one where we're making a start topology, but the more advanced labs ask you to do uh, many more tasks, of course. So let's go ahead and score that. And we got that 100% correct. We create a star topology, but that's the whole lab right there. The nice thing is there's way more labs. There's far more frequent labs, but the labs are a little more straightforward. You can get into them, go through them, score them, and keep rolling with your, your lessons. So it really does help the whole flow of the lessons. That, and there's a lot more diagrams here. It explains the concepts much better. So this is the CompTIA CertMaster Perform and it integrates that learn and labs environment that wasn't available for the 008. The 008 did have learn and labs, but it did break it out a little differently. You had to launch the labs in still the same environment, but it, it wasn't as seamless and fluid as it is here. So now if you're wondering, uh, we just launched this in June, okay, which means you have basically until uh, December 20th of this year to take your Network Plus 008. So if you haven't taken your Network Plus 008 exam yet, you should take it soon, this month, or, or you should take it by the 20th of December. Otherwise, you'll have to start with the, the 009. So if you've been struggling to uh, take that exam or you, you're working on, you're wrapping up your studies for the 008, make sure you do that by December 20th. Otherwise, I recommend just going into the 009. If you're starting now, I just recommend starting with the 009 version instead of trying to do the 008. So those are the updates to the Network Plus exam. Again, I think they made a really nice adjustment to the test, made a nice adjustment to the, the certification here. And if you have any questions, if you need to understand how to do the Network Plus, how to study for it, you know, don't hesitate to reach out info at cybercrafttraining.com or leave a comment uh, happy to help you and we have network plus classes of course we have live classes self-paced classes that integrate the CompTIA materials as well as our own lessons and practice tests to help you get you certified so check us out check the links uh, at cybercrafttraining.com and we can get you certified but thanks so much for watching the video hope you have a great day